What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the start of another Let's Play. So I saw the giant bomb people do a quick look of this game. The game's called Unepic. It's available on Steam. It's currently one of those deals where it's not completely finished yet. The single player is 100% finished from what the description of the game says, but the multiplayer isn't all the way up yet. So you can go get it for the multi for the single player aspect of it, but the multiplayer isn't up. But I saw the game, I saw them play it, and I actually really liked it. So I would like to run through it for you guys. One of the interesting tidbits about this is that there's all these languages, and there's English, and then there's un-English. I believe this game was made by a group of Spanish people, and so English is the official translator's version of the English language in the game. Un-English is the non-native English developers attempt at translating the game to English, which has, from what I saw from the video, the quick look, has sort of funnier dialogue and uh, more of a relaxed and just genuine flow to it, so we're going to, for the language portion, we're going to use on English, and it's, it's, it's funny to me. And, you know, I just made this guy Yarp, just for the shits and giggles, um, to test out what kind of difficulty I want. I think we're going to go for hard plus plus, and I'm going to name uh, our hero, I don't know, Ted. Um, hard plus plus, so two extra kill points on leveling. I played around with it, didn't seem that horribly difficult, so we will try it at hard plus plus. Uh, wonderful. Alright, so I'm gonna shut up. I'm just gonna skip through this. Cause I've already seen this. The best of all games. Oof. Alright. So now we're officially in the game and you're stuck in this business. This is a. You can actually have it be controlled by mouse or arrows and spacebar and stuff, and I like those spacebars. Of course, the best thing is sort of psych psychotronic shit. Alright. So you jump up. Space to do shit and stuff. Ah, yes. Okay. And I'm still getting used to the audio levels as always, so if the music is loud, my voice isn't loud enough, let me, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be fixed eventually. No. <laughs> it pounced over me. I cannot control this body. Fuck, I've been possessed. Ah. 
behind. So as of now, I don't know if there was some magical portal or he is on drugs, but hey, I'm sure they'll be discovered later in the game. Uh, in the world of Warcraft, I killed thousands of ghosts and spirits. So. So, and I, and you can go ahead and add a shortcut to it, and you'll need to, ah, this music a little loud for me, I'm sorry. Uh, adding shortcuts helps out simply because you later will want to switch between different weapons to try different stuff. He was waiting patiently in my death to be free, wasn't you? Why do you give me advice? Yeah, I'm not gonna take the coins. I know that they kill you. Spoiler. So, I guess even if you don't take the coins, they expect that you do the first time around. That's kind of funny. Fuck it is as tall as I am. Right. And that will poison you. So careful. Snake, snake, snake. Alright. A mace. So we will assign it to the shortcut. Number two. Once you commit to a jump, you cannot change the direction. You can't, you can't, you can change which way you're facing, but not, like, move in a different direction. Arrows. On the chest. Alright. Let's move on. Yolo. Yolo, boy. If you light all of them in the room, you get a little thing, and it, everything else gets the, everything lights up even more. Well, the bathroom castle doesn't appear with the whip. Alright. Six penny vigilant. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I'm gonna straddle. <laughs> Alright. References. Uh, bows only fire in one direction, so they they're good! Fun! Yeah. Alright, yeah. More arrows, are you so? Alright, get up, that's good up. Oh, do I have healer potion already? I haven't. Right. So, there we go. There are four. Is there a way out of here? I think I'm missing something. I guess not. Really? Huh, alright. No, yeah, okay. I'm definitely being dark here. Oh jeez, this is one of those moments. Oh, I see the letter now, okay. 
that. To get all of them and, you know. It seems to light up even more than usual, which is kind of cool. Uh... Oh jeez. Alright. Okay. Okay, so definitely swords. For this fellow. Beautiful. So the reason I'm going hard for plus is I kind of plan to take a very tactical approach to the game. So I should be sort of very confident in my skills. Right. I'm not sure how much talking I will personally do. This is not a very humorous game. <laughs> There is a jumping attack, which is kind of cool. Light that up. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck, I'm too close. Swing, swing your shit. Yep, I will keep it. What's in here? We need to key the sewer. Alright. I, I might as well mark that. Okay. Keep track of where these guys are. We'll make it a habit of lighting everything up. Cobalt. Fatuous mortal. Alright. No fall damage? It seems good. Let's check. So I can't go through here. Oh, I can. All right. Well, let's hit this place up first. Antaro Adun. Oh yeah, he poses as as the purple dude. Korabash. Blah blah. He will heal me, and I will save. And this is where you officially like begin the game if you decide to skip the tutorial. Also, since I'm doing Harpus Plus, so uh, since I'm playing in Harp Plus Plus, I have to manually come back here to save the game as it will not save. Can I just go through here and do anyone? Ah, okay, so that's sort of the teleporting system, then I take it. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. Save the game, and move on. I do kind of wish you could jump and climb a ladder. But, oh well. Alright. Ah, bats. I can raise the gamma on this. Oh. Nice. Actually, real quick, let's see. Option. Actually, no, it doesn't stop. It's like Dark Souls. Yeah, makes it a little easier to see the uh, bats themselves. Oh, 
Oh, they hang up there too. No, I don't want to push the gamma too far because it's too bright if I hurt my ass. Because I'm a baby. Alright. Can't get up there. Nope. Didn't, plan like, didn't work out like I planned. It's not that. Ah, shite. Alright. Dagger. Alright, cool. I wonder if the tooltip will show up. There was a tooltip that, um, in the other game, said that daggers do 50% more damage from behind and have a 10% crit chance. So that's kinda cool. Also, they should, like, hit straight forward, so... Wouldn't be too bad. Damage 33. Let's go ahead and assign it to number 5. See? It's a straightforward thrust. Ah! Okay, only humanoids and snakes. Alright. Ooh. Halo. Who's that too? Ah, shit. Damn it. Actually, I'll sign this to five. I think I know what it does. Teleport shoot under the golden box of the healing spirit can be used as many times as you wish, so now I have a way to very easily go back down. Alright. Nice. Yes. Sweet. Alright, up or down? Or right. There's blood. So, attempt to go this way. There's the ants. Okay, this is as far as I got in the other game. I only played for a couple minutes. I do have a bow. So there's no point in taking the risk of... Well, sort of no point. There's no risk if I, if I can get into him and just keep him stunlocked, it's fine. So that jump seems to work out pretty well. If you chew it, the juice can be used to create potions. If you chew it, the juice can be... Alright. So the mo I imagine most of these drops are going to be potion related. Alright. There cannot not be a thing in here. Yeah. Alright, for the sake of getting this area lit up, let's go check out the bottom there. Apparently it's like 20, 20 hours of gameplay, so that'll be a good uh, run through. Ooh, I'm close. Oh, I have a face. I'm not going to switch now. Take a while. Give X. 40 damage. 40 damage. Alright. They do about the same. So, we'll hold on to the mace, and now we have something when the mace breaks to repair it. Or to switch to. Cool. Library key. Alright. Over there, because I have some dudes up there, which I'm not feeling confident about. Let's see the dagger. Get him from behind. Cast magic. Extra damage with swords. Ah, oh, alright. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. We need you to turn around, big boy.
Oh shit, I think he took the thing. Yeah, I guess I didn't pick it up and he took it. Damn, alright, what's this? Creates an aura of heat around you that continually damages. Oh, it's a one time use? Yes? Okay. Well, I don't mind equipping this as I am using swords for a good bit of time, so. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm missing a light thing? Must be, yes. I'm missing. I guess not. Huh. Alright, well. Wonder how long that stays for. Alright, so that was the thing. Let's go. Back. Let's go left and then down. How far is the box? You know what? Maybe maybe go here with the box. Yeah. He's not that far anyway, so. Alright, so having that halo will make the... Because I figured it would be pretty annoying to have to walk back to save, but knowing that I have this is a lot better. They respond. Uh, they want to get him from behind. So once he passes back, I will definitely get out of How to get there? I want to get up there, so I imagine it's down through here. Uh, yeah. So I'm just clicking. Oh yeah, I do have the mouse controls on for the guy, but it's a little weird because I'm not sure what the mouse is. Alright. Hey! Okay, yeah. So if I leave shit down there long enough, that mother lover can just steal it. Alright, good to know. Alright, I imagine that's like a health over time thing. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Level. Cool. Finished. Alright. I'll deal with my leveling in a second. Which is your duty in this place? Ah. Woot. Constitute class. Drug now I'm here. The thr that thrall. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can't do much but explore, so... Alright. That doesn't seem like a nice drop. 
Alright, let's avoid this for a little bit. Let's go to the left here. I mean, I found the halo from one of the barrels, and now I'm sort of addicted to killing the barrels. Let's open now. Yeah. Hi. Let's just see if something became. Alright, well, if we're gonna do this, I'm gonna go take a quick uh, Halo. Save, and we can take this gate to that area. Let's see what we have in terms of. Alright. Health, potions, armor, I guess, lets you wear better armor, as well as robes, I imagine, right? So, I mean, I'm good for now, really. I'm okay. I'm getting along pretty well. I think I'll be fine. Let's go see if we can clear that room of traps, and then I think that'll make it, that'll be the episode. Crouch to what protect us. see the thing in the bottom there. There's one right there. Ah, fuck. No! Shit. I didn't mean to do that at all. Fudgesicles. Alright, maybe don't have it on four. <sighs> maybe have it on six. <laughs> yeah, seven. Fine. I'm not gonna go to hit it now when I want to. But I'm not gonna accidentally hit it either. That's not where we're Oh my god. Yay! And then answer the question of whether or not there was fall damage. I wasn't entirely sure until now, but now I'm sure. Okay.
I should play for it. Ooh, that's a big one. Ah! Yeah, but do not touch. Touch. Swing. Ah, oh, all right, beautiful. Are there bats in here? This probably just takes me to the bottom. Good. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so I guess we can explore a little bit more. Hey, I landed there. Uh, yeah, that's good. Now I have a I have a goal and an, an objective. Oh, I can go down. What's that? Yeah, I might do that. All right, might end, we might end a little adventure by like that. Can I get that? No. Okay. What? Where else could there be a friggin' torch? I don't see another one. That bothers me. This place should be lit up in its entirety. Maybe it's the doors. I think maybe they can't get past the doors yet. I don't know how to. I don't understand how the door. Fall down. Okay, so he's definitely seen me. Let's see if we can't get him to cast this fucking shit. Hey. Alright. Let's over here. Empty vial. Ooh, interesting. I have essences. Teleport to kitchen. How much? Donde is my aunt? Oh, it's not expended? Alright, recipe, potion. Yes! To create them in the first place, you have to copy the recipe book, the recipe, and select the correct recipe. Alright, let's figure this out. So, click. 
learning, we're learning, we're learning. I need one empty vial, one bat wing, and three red essences. Well, lucky for you, I have many empty vials. And I'm also over a bug. Creating. Oh, I see. Only have one bat wing. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to take out one of those dudes. Actually, we can head to the Halo, save it, and we'll try and take out one of the dudes. I would like to have somewhere I can just kind of drop off into, so I run from here, right there, would be ranged, so can you go ahead and drop, uh... Come to think of it, they might not work here. So let's go to another room. Kick his happy little butt. Hopefully. Oh, there's bats in here. For it. Oh, I can come here for bat wings, though. Alright, that's not. That's pretty convenient to put the bat wing people right over here. Nice of them. Okay, so, I were to drop Ow. that there. Oh, oh yeah, this is a vendor. We'll, we'll save that for next time, but... Hmm. Alright, I like a long hallway, and I can just use my bow to take him out. Nope. 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 You don't. You don't. You don't. Yeah, this, this, this will probably work. This, drop items, drop one of them. And away. <gasps> hmm. Alright, well, I'll figure it out later. But for now, I think that'll do it for my little exploits. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this. And, you know, let me know in the comments whether you want me to keep going. I'll probably keep going. Alright. Take care and goodbye. Uh, make sure it's saved. The game has been saved. Alright. Bye bye. Let me get to the top of the mountain because it's very cinematic. Ta-da!